I'm a bet on them Fords every time. Yeah. I mean, and I've been Chevrolet my whole life. The 10 speed, you know, we're as quick as we were with the 10 speeds. Uh, but like when it comes down to like, all right, we got to, we're betting forty, fifty thousand dollars on this race, and you turn it up. Sometimes that ten speed or clicking on down through there, <laughs> and sometimes it'll say, "Let's Bye-bye. skip a shift." Mm-hmm. All the transmission says, "Whoa, what is going on here?" Pull timing, and that's why we all ended up going to the Turbo Four Hundred and Fuel Tech yep. harness and doing all that, just because it's more consistent. And you know, all these, you know, King Ranch, my truck, OJ. Gator snacks, Red Bull on, on on the gas guys. You know, we're testing r- really Jesus's truck. What's up, gentlemen? We are here on the Go Hard podcast. We are interviewing today Gringo, Gringo 1.0 and 2.0. You ready? Check this out. Check us out, compadres. Jacob, check, swipe, like, put it in the comments. Who you guys want on the next podcast? I gotta go. Welcome back to Go Hard Podcast. I'm your host, Noel. I'm your co-host with CLT and Billet. Man, guys, just want to say stay tuned for the full episode. We're right here with the Fords again. We had Velocity on. We are back in time. We're back to the our, our OG ways. We're back with the street performance. We're back for the truck street performance, of course. Yep. The, the fast trucks. The fastest. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for letting us in your shop. Nice shop. Yes, As you can see, guys, look, check this out. We got the checks right here. Um, they, did they clear? Oh, yeah. Oh, the check's cleared. We got the the fish on top. You know, Compare, we, got, we, just, we literally on a man cave. This is oh, literally yeah. a man this, cave. This is nice. Yeah. Honestly, this is super nice. It's a work cave. A work, work cave. cave. A little bit of both. But. Work cave. We got the trophies on the side over there. Are those from racing? Uh, Yes, sir. Woo. Yeah, yeah. I've uh, been racing a long time. You can see all this gray hair. Yeah. And I got it, I got it the, uh, the hard way. Yeah. But, uh, introduce yeah. Did you learn the hard way? Oh, yeah. Wasn't nothing easy with my dad. Nice. Well, guys, we're going to get more into it. We're going to talk about the shop, the trucks, the builds, hot rods. Introduce yourself, Randy. Tell us a little about you. Uh, Randy Seals. I drive El Gringo, uh, race truck, twin turbo, Ford, uh, and it'll get down. <laughs> I first seen you with the Gringo one pointer with the Silverado. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I had it. Uh, <clears throat> a buddy of mine had bought it, and I've always been kind of his driver. And uh, he took me out uh, over in Crosby, right in front of the schools over there. And it was school was cl- school was out of out of session. He was like, "Man, just take it down the road." Uh, hold this foot down on the brake pedal is on the two step was on the yeah, brake yeah, switch yeah. anyways and hold the other one to the floor and he said when it starts popping just let off and i'm telling you i got back to his driveway and i was giggling like a little kid i could not believe that a four by four would just leave like that no burnout no nothing and just i, I would have put a thousand dollars that that thing didn't spin one foot Damn. And uh, when I left there, I went back there, and there were four black marks about three feet long, and I was I was I was hooked then. Yeah. And uh, I've always been a you know big block, small block, you know nitrous stuff, carbureted, 
you know, really didn't know much about LS, you know, all the fuel injection, yeah, and yeah. turbos, injection. and, you know, yeah. all that. I was, yeah, yeah. you know, didn't really know nothing at all. But uh, I could always drive, yeah. and uh, that's kind of how I ended up with that truck. So mm. one of the main reasons why we're here, because, for one, you get all these sick-ass rides, right? You know, hot rod action here. Right, man. the hot rod action. And for two, you got a sick-ass Ford. And just want to say it's a new that build. not too many um, older guys get into like the the newer stuff, direct injection. Oh yeah, you know they they stick to what they know. No, believe me, I know. Every time we go uh, street racing or go to a uh, race somewhere, I look around and I'm the only one with gray hair. <laughs> <laughs> and then hey, when, yeah. when I said older guys, and most like of the time the only white one. <laughs> 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 but uh, no, I ain't learned my learned my lesson yet. You can you do know. a little bit of both, man. You but I, I love the truck racing. You know, yeah. I uh, it's it's big down here. It's big in Texas, and uh, you know, it's the with the four by fours. I've been, you know, I've raced a lot on the street. You know, a lot of no prep stuff. Uh, a lot of sticky glued down tracks. You know, yeah. and that's when I kind of. Realized I needed to get some more power. So that's why you went with the Ford instead of the Chevy? That's why I went with the Ford. Yeah. <laughs> <You know. clears throat> My dad, he's like, you know, couldn't believe it. And uh, he actually came over to Manuel's about two weeks ago. And I told him, I said, told Manuel, I said, take him for a ride in that blue one there. Twin turbo, <laughs> 10 speed, you know. You know, for Manuel, that's, you know, cookie cutter stuff. You yeah, know, he yeah. can... He can make one drive from here to Dallas, 10 speed, air conditioned, radio, and it run 570s on the yeah. street. And Jeez. when dad got back, I mean, he was like, you know, he's 65, you know, yeah. in which he raced all his life. And that's where I got it from. Right. You know, but uh, he was like, that's impressive, <laughs> yeah. you know, for the street. Yeah. Know. Did but, he ask uh, how much? To Oh yeah, yeah. He, <laughs> yeah. He 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 knows. He tells me I'm crazy. You know. He he remembers those days when you could buy a converter, you know, for two hundred dollars. And you know, I tell him now, you know, yeah, we're gonna swap out that converter, and you know, this is the third one, you know, at four grand. And he's like, what? You know, <laughs> what? You paid what? You know. Yeah. But uh, you know, those old days have changed. You know, I grew up uh, on. You know, oh yeah, and me and me, yes sir. Yeah, know, yeah. There and there was the one behind uh, all that, and then there was the other one which was called uh, uh, Midnight Trail. And yeah, Midnight Trail. And yeah. we went. You know, we go out there and be there all night and day. You know, yeah. and all day go to Porter, which was used to be East Tex Dragway. You know, I'm really telling how old I am yeah. now, but Damn. that's all subdivision that now. But. uh Anyways, it was nothing to be out there. And, I mean, them old dudes, they used to street race. You know, I seen some wild stuff there as a young kid, and that's, you know, kind of how I got into all this was through my dad. Nice, man. Awesome. What was maybe your first build that you that you took on? Uh, My first, um, like, real racy truck, uh, I had bought a square body you know, bone stock, square body, uh, 85, little two-tone silver and blue. Ooh. And I had a little small block in it, and I put a little 383 in it, uh, aluminum heads, and uh, we hooked up a little nitrous kit from the, you know, from the uh, windshield wiper reservoir, put half a gallon of race fuel <laughs> in it, a little, you know, green holly yeah. pump from O'Reilly's, and sprayed 100, you know. Damn. And... Uh, that truck, you know, which back then that was, you know, I thought, oh, man, I'm flying. You know, yeah. that thing ran like 760s, 770s, you know, in the 8. But uh, that truck, I, you know, I ended up putting a, a big block in it, uh, 468, uh, some uh, steel world product heads, steel heads, and uh, Dominator and more nitrous. And uh, I had a little center console 
you know, I had my, you know, everything was on the column, you know, yeah, yeah. stock square body stuff. And yeah. people were like, man, that dude, you know, that's how my dad did it. You yeah. know, shifting, pull it and low. <laughs> and, you know, he had square body yeah. and raced at Rankin a lot. And uh, everybody's like, man, this dude's still shifting on the column, you know. And one of my console, I'd raise my console up, and there was my B&M, you know, oh, my quick, damn. my shifter and all my, you know, nitrous, the arm to nitrous and everything. The go-go. Yeah. The go-go juice. <laughs> and in the, you know, in the bed, which I learned from my dad, I had a, like an old igloo ice chest, and uh, it was bolted to the bed, and in the, you know, it was all sideways, you know, it wasn't even in the, you know, you just walk by it and think, man, that Ice chest is gonna be flying around, yeah. flying out, but it was bolted down, had a nitrous bottle. Right, they probably thought you had some beer in there. <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> probably so, you know, but uh that was probably the first build. It was I think it ended up running like seven twenties, I think, you know, which was quick back then. Mm -hmm. But uh What year was that? Probably two thousand thirteen. Okay. Yeah, which really wasn't that quick, but, you know, it was quick for me. That was my first, uh, you know, let's go drag racing. I had been dirt racing for, you know, probably 15 years and uh, was did very well at that, you know, but I kind of got to where I was, like, looking for a new, something new to yeah. do, you know. When did Gringo come in? Um, that was probably... 2000 probably probably 2020 probably right around okay. there yeah yeah i had a, a a yellow k5 blazer 78 blazer uh it had a 632 after the uh after the blue truck a guy come and he wanted to buy my square body and uh he wanted to buy it roller and uh and he, he got there and i let him look at it and <clears throat> he was like you know can we take it for a ride and i was thinking man, you're buying a roller, you know? <laughs> and uh, he goes, well, maybe not. Anyways, I uh, took him for a ride, turned the bottle on, gave him the full experience, you yeah. know? <laughs> and uh, he was like, can you follow me to the bank? And uh, I said, I sure can. And, Damn. you know, that's kind of how all of this kind of started. I yeah. was like, man, you know? So you already knew what time it was. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, I was like, sold. Yeah, right. You know, but uh, I, I started getting into that, and uh, you know, I would, I would buy some, you know, hot rods and stuff, and pull the racing parts off that I wanted, you know, and then get rid of them for what I had in them. Yeah. And uh, you know, I seen that there was a, I had a guy over in, in Huffman that he kind of told me, taught me a few things, and. Uh, that's how I'll really I basically started doing all this with the uh, hot rods. But mm -hmm. after that, I, that's when I bought that yellow blazer and that thing, 632, two kits and nitrous, wow. you know. And what people didn't realize about that thing is it's a foot shorter than a short wheelbase square body. Oh. And it has all that weight up at the top in the back. Mm. And, I mean, I could do a little burnout and it's going to, you know, depending on yeah. how hard I hit it and if we're on concrete, yeah. it's going to drag the back bumper on the street. Damn. You know? Damn. Um, I have two or three videos. He ain't messing around, dog. He <laughs> ain't messing around. No, it, it would uh, it it would sparks off the back bumper. When I say a wheelie, that's what the, that was the good thing about it and that was the bad thing about it. The, yeah. the, the good thing about it is that sucker would hook anywhere. The bad thing about it is it would hook anywhere. <laughs> it would it you you could you could judge how fast the truck went by how big the wheelie was. And if that sucker was a foot, that was a six twenty. Mm. If it was a two feet, that was a six fifty. If it was three feet, four feet, like like it the first time it did it, I was like, I didn't even have time to even let off or shift or anything. I was like, what just happened? <laughs> you know, it did it at HMP. And I was like, oh, my God, that's crazy, this thing. I mean, it was up on the back bumper, scraped, back down before the tree. Damn. Yeah. And I was like, oh, gosh, we got to tame this thing down, you know. So we started putting nitrous progressive on it. Yeah, yeah. Changing some stuff. But uh, uh, it got faster, you know. Uh, we started learning how to, you know, work the nitrous and when to bring it in and 
but you know the fastest that truck ever went which everybody you know everybody knew that yellow blazer and there wasn't no hiding it either you know my dad you know he grew up in the old days you know where there wasn't you know everything there wasn't every time you went out there (laughs) you know somebody video and you know and uh he was like we need to paint that yellow blazer everybody knows that yellow blazer dragged a bumper on the street and it just need to change it up i was like dad them days is over yeah. I said, everybody knows what you got, how fast you going, you know, everything. clocking you and everything. Podcasting you, everything. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, Podcast, right? <laughs> yeah. But that truck, uh, the fastest it went, it went a 599. We pulled the top off of it, the the back top, and kind of, you know, convertible then. You know, yeah, you had yeah. the roof over you. But anyways, it went like a 599, which you know, now I look back and – I should have had that thing running 540s, you know, but uh, uh, ever I came back and it barely lifted the front wheels. I mean, an inch or two. And I came back and everybody's heads down. They're like, well, that didn't work. And I had the slip, you know, from HMP. And uh, they was like, did you even spray it? And I was like, yeah, I sprayed it. And uh, I showed them the slip. I said, the sucker just went faster than it ever went before. And I was like, man, it looked like crap. And <laughs> everybody's you know used to the wheelie every, yeah everybody's yeah. used to a big old monster wheelie which it was cool it was cool for video but it sucked for racing yeah. and that's uh that's kind of why i got away from that truck you know it was cool it was nice but uh, uh trying to go fast yeah we're trying to win races so trying to win money <laughs> so Ooh, money that's yeah. something to get along so you so what you're saying is when you're doing a wheelie you're not technically going fast no it's correct? wasted energy yeah, yeah, you're you're doing a wheelie in anything, and at any track on any street, if you're if you're riding a wheelie, you're wasting energy. You know that's why yeah. you see all those uh, cars with those stretched out front ends, and the cars, you know, no, they don't have no front end on on them at all, but the shocks are so extended out, but the wheels are still on the ground. Mm-hmm. You know, it's you know you there's a fine line, but yeah. Willies are willies are for show, no for go. Yeah, no for, for go. The funny part <laughs> is that I've seen on TikTok that they're doing competitions for how like the longest wheelies now. Yeah, I don't know. there's probably they you still know, do it, I guess. But. Yeah, there's. The, I, I started getting tagged and stuff, you know, when I had that truck, and you know, kind of b- before Instagram and you know any of that was even a a thing, but uh, you know. The bad thing about wheelies is what goes up comes down. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, my truck, the bigger the wheelie, the bigger they are, the harder they fall. And when that sucker would come down, it would come down sometimes and bounce up again. Oh, and I'd be damn. still on the kit, you know. Damn. But, you know, when somebody's beside you, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you don't care about nothing. Yeah. You're trying to win. We'll worry about fenders yeah. and, you know. Yeah busting windshield control arms and yeah it, it actually it actually uh uh popped the the rear glass out of the you know on the blazer the long glass out of the rubber no which i got it back damn. in but uh yeah when you do all that especially with something with no cage and i was racing that thing with no cage for a long time and no twist you didn't have any twist oh in yeah that sucker is all you know Ew. that thing was straight as an arrow yeah. when I first got it, and when I when I finally got rid of it, that thing was kind of the body and fenders and doors and uh, down. But I finally put a cage in it. And I was street racing over here uh, in, <laughs> and uh, I was racing one of the budget boys, a big tire S. Uh, Mexico. Uh, he met, he met Mexico. Yeah, guys. Sorry. Mexico, Mexico. Mexico. Yeah. But uh, anyways, uh, my blazer. Like the sucker couldn't that sucker is quick on the street you know it'd bite anywhere and he had a big tire and i was like whatever 565 i got a 632 yeah come on with it and uh i remember going off the road a little bit and every time i got off the road you know that i was in the left lane it would drive me further off the road because the left side is grabbing dirt and gravel yeah. and grass and yeah. everything else I'd pull it back on, still on the kit, and he was like right there the whole time. And I, the on my end, and the I lost my truck. And at the the finish line, the flashlight was on my side of the road, you know, off the side of the road. 
Anyways, I turned it back on and got back on the road and barely missed it. And I was thinking, man, you're an idiot. You know, <laughs> this sucker ain't got no roll cage. I got three kids, you know, I'm old and slow, and, uh, you know, doing this. And, With a death uh, trap. Yeah. yeah. And I said, I'm going I'm to put a roll cage in it. So I put a roll death cage trap. in it. And, uh, but then I ended up uh, getting rid of it yeah. uh, not too long after that. And that's when I started driving the, the original uh, El Gringo Silverado. Nice. Nice. Uh, tell us about your experience, like when you're doing when when you did a wheelie, like how was when your first wheelie? Uh, first one. Did it you was shit like, your pants? Yeah. Or? Oh no, I, <laughs> I don't think. Dead yeah, I don't was think. Kicking, man. <laughs> but uh, no, the first one I was I like it did it so quick. It was so fast up and down. I didn't even know what happened. And then I got to like, okay, now I'm gonna get ready to pedal it. You know, we because that thing it was so short and so top heavy and rear heavy. Even with that 632, it was coming up. Yeah. And uh, you just, it, it was so inconsistent and there were, it was hard to, it was hard to tame it down. And that's why I, I finally got rid of it. And uh, I think it's up in Canada or I forget where. It went to Waco and then I bought it back and then it went to Canada after that. Sounds like every machine you own has a price tag. Oh, yeah. That's what it sounds like to me. Yeah. <laughs> we, we talked about it off camera. I was like, man, will you ever keep a truck with, like, low miles, OEM, perfect condition? He's like, nah, money talks. He's like, nah, man, yeah. money talks. No, I've I've had some of my favorites, this one being one of them. Uh, but I've had probably, you know, probably five or six that I would say are my favorites. And I, I kept them for a little bit, you know. But you know when they're when they're too nice, they're almost too nice to drive. You know mm, you don't want to. Yeah. I mean, by the time I get to the street, they're covered in dust and dirt, and the bottom side's all dirty. And you know then I have to clean them. And you know people call me like, man, how much you want for it? And I, I don't want to sell it. I don't want to sell it. So I'm gonna keep this one. You yeah. know. No, how much do you really want yeah. for it? And then they're like, <laughs> well, you know, well, what's the what's the? I don't want to sell it. Price, you know, yeah. price and. <laughs> I give it to them, and they'll be like, can I come look at it? <laughs> they like, it. God dang it, you know? Trap them. Yeah. You, it's like you're fishing, and you just... No, you in. know, usually <laughs> when I say that, I, I want it. You know, yeah. I, I, I want to keep them, and, you know, the, which those are usually the super nice one. This one here, I, I was actually going to put it in Barrett-Jackson, yeah. and I was trying to order a set of wheels for it, and they just did not... I couldn't get them quick enough to... I could have made it to the auction but i couldn't get it quick enough to get all the pictures online for yeah. them for people to see the truck mm -hmm. you know with the new wheels so it really only been the people that were at the auction not like online bidders and you know people that you know do that stuff and they're bored time you know mm -hmm. we'll look at you know we'll watch go hard podcast these guys are over here deciding online if they're going to spend $150,000 yeah. you know, <laughs> on a pickup really? truck. Yeah. And, and might, that might be their third or fourth one that day. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Before we get into the gringo, the original gringo, tell, you know, give us a little rundown on the, the red Chevy you have back here. Uh, this one I had gotten out of uh, um, Wichita Falls about two years ago, and uh, it was – you know, the guy, he didn't really have a lot of good pictures of it. You know, he didn't show a lot of the nice stuff. This this thing here is powder-coated frame. All the suspension is chrome. The drive shaft's Damn. chrome. You know, the... Fatties in the, the back. The, the, you know, Fatties in the back. Sway bars and everything, you know, and that's... Uh, we just put the... It had some fat ones before. Fatter and, ones? Uh, no, they were the same size. Oh. But they had different wheels on it. Yeah. And... uh it's 383 aluminum headed air conditioned custom interior uh a lot a lot of body work you know a lot of paint and body work that if you glance at it you won't see but if you know if you open the doors and you know look and you see in the bed and stuff you'll see a lot of custom work that isn't done mm -hmm. you know all the seams are you know no bolts you know it's all welded you know together and yeah. Uh, it's a super nice truck, you know, and 
It'll bring a lot of money. What's it's definitely your... very flush. Like oh, not yeah. even door handles or nothing. Wow. This is freaking. It's a it's a beauty, man. Honestly. Year, what year is it? Well, that's sixty seven. Sixty seven. Yeah. What was your um, your number you had to sell it? Uh, that one. Uh, well, I actually I, I sold it two years ago, and I had a sixty nine Camaro the other day with a uh, big block and uh, four speed. And when I posted, you know, post a picture in here, or whatever. Hey, look what I got, you know, like showing y'all. Yeah. You know, a anybody bit of candy likes action. it. Anybody yeah. likes it. Yeah. You know. <laughs> and uh, uh, the guy called me. And he's like, man, that's my old car. Uh, you want to do some trading? And I knew how nice this one was. And uh, I was like, yeah, we can probably do some trading. And uh, I drove up there last night, actually, and got back uh, in the middle of the night and uh, brought it home. Nice. And it, it's it's probably, it should, at a, like an auction, you know, in front of the right people, it will probably do over a hundred. I'll probably get seventy-five for it. Uh, After fees and yeah, they go to Discovery and they see that like they sell them for five hundred thousand or something. Yeah, you I know, see them the, in the, the, the auctions these guys days, garage you know, they, they, you know, they, you know, if when you're at auction, you know, all it takes is two people. Yeah. You know, two people that like something. That's all it takes yep. to turn something in from a thirty thousand. To a hundred and thirty thousand, you know, both of them looking at each other, saying, "I'm gonna show you how much money I got." Yeah. And you're looking at me, saying, "Oh yeah, well, I got more." Yeah. They, they, <laughs> they play the ego game. You know. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. And you know they're feeding you them drinks. You know. Yeah. And uh, you ever you seen know. Barry? Jack Sorry about Tyler. Could you? You ever seen Barry Jackson? No. Or mm -hmm. Meekum, any of those. Yeah, I've seen the Barry. Yeah. And that's, it's crazy. Yeah. And and stuff does wild money. You stuff, know? stuff does wild. But there's stuff that doesn't do wild that is expected to do wild. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, I always tell I always tell people, you know, when you put something on an auction, you know, you're one bathroom break away from making 100000 or yeah. making thirty. Yeah. You know, one dude gets up and, you know, ain't there to bid against somebody. Yeah. It's just tougher. Yeah. You know, you, it's a 50-50, you, honestly. It'll be for you as a, as a seller. Like if you take it to an auction and, like you said, the guys in the restroom break – you know, you you can make profit, or you can lose profit. So, yeah. like I said, so yeah, I have friends that you know we we're planning on like some big money, and it just didn't bring it. You know, and it and it all depends on who's standing there. You know, it's a uh, it's definitely a uh, you know those kind of guys that go to auction. You know, they're looking for super nice stuff. They're looking, you know, to spend money. You know, yeah. we go and look at something. You know, you know we're gonna look it over. You know, test drive it. You know, we're gonna, you know, think about it for yeah. you know a week, and you know, make all those you know financial yeah, decisions. Yeah. Like, move some money right, here is, and there. Is Mama gonna get a new bathroom uh, remodel, <laughs> or am I gonna get this Chevelle? You know? yeah. Am I gonna eat Lunchables for a week, right. or <laughs> am I gonna be divorced? Or, you know, is, is, is Do she, I have to sleep on the truck yeah. now? <laughs> you know, oh, you know right. that's like you, like everybody's like, man, that wagon's cool. I was like, man, you know why I get them wagons? They just leave in the back. Women. Women <laughs> love station wagons. They love them. You know, and it's uh, the wait, station. Wait. What age women, though? Man, I ain't <laughs> Come found. Come on now, I, man. I, I haven't found any that didn't, you know. Uh, but um, my wife, she loves them. Yeah. You know, That's all that matters. That's all that matters. That's all that matters. You know, it's, it's a good, you know, it's a Women, you know, you always see, man, ask, ask your wife before you contact me to buy anything, you know, and that is so true because these dudes, I'm telling you, they'll leave here and they'll be like, man, Randy, I want it. Uh, I'm going to go to the bank. I'm going to come back in the morning and uh, take it home. And they'll be calling me later and now they're like, hey, man. <clears throat> I almost got into a divorce yeah, with my wife. Man. Sad news. <laughs> Sad man, news. I, man, I can't do it, you know. And uh, I know how it is, but station wagons are a good trade off because uh, the women love them, and the guy still gets to have a you know pretty cool looking car. Yeah. You know, I'm not gonna go buy, a, you know, old Paul station wagon. You which that might be <laughs> a Paul station wagon to y'all. You know, sixty one. You know, yeah, that, yeah. that thing's you know sixty three years old. But yeah. 
It's uh. Wait, it's, what it's year right. is the the Ghostbuster uh, car actually? Oh, well, like I don't even know. Probably. probably it is a wagon. 60, 61, 62, 62 mm -hmm. probably mm -hmm. somewhere around there. I ain't even seen that thing. I'm 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 so old. I remember watching the original Ghostbusters. You know, oh, that's damn. probably before y'all was even born. That's is it bad like, that I haven't seen the Ghostbusters movie or yet? thought of. That was probably like eighty five or something. Yeah. <laughs> They're bringing it back, though, but, you know, they're bringing the Ghostbusters back, but that's a different story. Yeah. Before we get into the gringo, I got a couple more questions because, you know, these questions are coming up in my head. I'm like, damn, I got to ask. So as far as the car market in the last two or three years, it boomed, you know, like 2023, oh, 2022. Yeah. It's like the biggest boom since maybe, how, when can you say? Uh, 2020 was actually yeah. crazy. You know, I'm... I've been a, a registered nurse for uh, 15 years. I did that, and I was uh, us. I was working, and uh, I've been an OR nurse probably the last 10, and uh, I was working at a, a hospital that was a janky place, and I was like, you know, I probably need to quit this place. And then they started talking about this coronavirus, and they sent a couple of my my guys home, on a, you know, they need to be quarantined for two weeks. I'm thinking, what are y'all talking about? Mm. You know, these people are goofy. Yeah. And uh, anyways, <laughs> I was like, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go get me another job, you know. And uh, I called the old boss and I said, hey, you got anything for me? And she's like, yeah, can you be here in the morning? And I was like, nope. Uh, <laughs> I want to take me two weeks off. And uh, I took two weeks off and about a week and a half into that, like, I started seeing all these cars and trucks, and, you know, old schools. You know, that's all my stuff. Chevelles, Camaros, Novas, Bel Airs, C10s, For square sale? bodies. Yeah. And uh, I was like, you know, I was getting closer to that two weeks where I'm going to start this new job. And I called her and I said, hey, I'm going to need two more weeks. And uh, the next time I called her, I was like, hey, sorry, I'm not coming to work. Damn. And, uh, you know, I think in 2020, everybody was like, you know, man, the world's ending. We're, <laughs> we're all going to die, you know, you know, and sell everything. We, yeah. Sell it. <laughs> you know, if, yeah, it, if we don't that. need it, if we can't eat it, you know, or survive on a, uh, uh, the apocalypse, apocalypse, you know, sell it, yeah. you know, well, and, uh, you know, and the other side, you know, was thinking, you know, the world's ending. We're all going to die. You know, I'm going to buy that 72 <laughs> Chevrolet C10 I've always been wanting. Yeah. Well, not yeah. even that. I think stimulus checks were helping oh, yeah. that as well. So everybody had a lot of time because yeah. of COVID. Everybody just started buying crazy yeah. amount of stuff. For oh, yeah. It was, Trump. It, was, it, was, it was wild. It really was. I had, I had friends come here, and they had told me, you know, I don't know if you all remember that. Uh, uh, what was it called? Uh, oh, uh, pay. Uh, PPE or something? Oh, the PPE loan. Pay, uh, payroll protection. Yeah. And basically saying, if you own a business, you know, we're going to give you this much money yeah. to keep your guys employed. People. Well, they were getting this money, and, keep and they were still working. Like, if you talk to anybody, their business, their best year they've had in years was 2020, yeah. 2021. And, uh, a lot of scams I mean, went around, too. Yeah, <laughs> they, exactly. And, you know, they were getting wild money. When I say, like, get a little stimulus check, I'm talking like three, four, five, six hundred, one point two million. Yep. You know, just some Business. crazy stuff. And they never missed a beat. You know, they were still trucking, working, and busy. And, you know, and then they came out with, you know, all that was supposed to be a loan at first. And then, then at the end of it, it was like, hmm. Don't pay it, yeah. Yeah, you are good. It's, We're yeah. square. And, you know, that, that money, that's when prices started yeah. going up. You know, because everybody was getting that free money. The, what it cost to buy something increased. The value of the dollar actually went down. Went down. down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you were better off in 2019, you know, working for $25 an hour than you were in 2022 making $35 an hour. Oh, yeah. You know, it just everything. Mm -hmm. They talk about inflation being... 17 percent and i'm thinking i buy stuff now that i know is doubled and tripled from what i was given you know especially parts three, yeah crazy parts. oh my god bro i remember in covid days even you had to back order parts that will probably come in a year yeah 
and yeah, it, it was, was triple the amount of prize as well. It was bad, you know, but they get us used to paying that. Yeah. You know, we pay this. They're like, man, you know, government's probably sitting up there saying, hmm, these people are still paying it. You know, <laughs> like, why would we go back Idiots. down? Why yeah. would we go back down on our prices? Yeah. Let's just leave them right here. Right. You know, or we'll go back down a little bit, make them feel good. And uh, give them a bone or something. Yeah. <laughs> But you know that's that's kind of how you know I I really got into the uh, the whole. I've always been around. You know, my dad has a seventy two Chevelle that you know they took me to the hospital to be born in. He still has it. And, damn. Uh, yeah. What's that movie? Um, oh, my bad. God What's that damn. movie with the with an NASCAR? With the NASCAR? It was like Ricky Bobby. Oh yeah. Kind of oh, the yeah. same thing. Your dad was holding ass <laughs> to the hospital, but you yeah, didn't make pretty it. Pretty much. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oh man! Is hey, it, remember that one? There were no tigers in the back seat. <laughs> there were no tigers. My though, mom, yeah. maybe. <laughs> <laughs> man, yeah, he, 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 my sister's a year older than me, and uh, uh, they took her to a regular hospital. And uh, you to hear him tell it. You regular know, hospital? Yeah, like you know what? What like free hospital? Oh, know. okay. Anyway, uh, took her to a regular hospital, and you know, in '78, you know, golly, I'm old, but '78, my sister. He's like, yeah, it cost me like 600 bucks to have a baby, you know, for him to Jeez. pay it. Yeah, you know? yeah. Anyways, he was like, I learned my lesson. He goes, I took you to, uh, which it was, it was, it's closed now. And uh, it was Jeff Davis Hospital. He goes, yeah, when I went in there to look in the little window and see my baby boy in there, he goes, what, no doubt which one was mine. He, <laughs> he said, he said, you was the only white baby yeah. in there. <laughs> <laughs> I thought but, you were gonna say they put a sharpie on your shoulder or something, you know. I thought they were gonna, I thought you were gonna say the hospital on Fifty Nine, the one uh, Fifty Nine South going south. The, um, oh yeah, LBJ. Uh, yeah, no, <laughs> no, they had actually closed this one down. It was called uh, uh, Jeff da Jefferson Davis Hospital. Yeah. But yeah, he he would tell me he's like, yeah, I'd look in there at you, and then I'd run down the hall and uh, look out the window. And see that orange Chevelle sitting out there, make sure that sucker wasn't stolen. Right, yeah. right. <laughs> he's probably like, I'm gonna look every 30 minutes, you know, just yeah, give me a minute. He, he, he brags, he's like, Yeah, you know, because you know, someday, hopefully, you know, I'll get it, you know. Yeah. And uh, but he he brags on it, he's like, Yeah, that car, that thing's made it through, you know, five girlfriends, <laughs> three divorces, <laughs> you know. This and that, and he still Great has Great depression, it. everything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's old. He ain't that old. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Got Let, well, let's yeah. start it. Let's start the, the biggest thing that yeah. we want to talk about. You give, know us, I mean? give us a sauce on Gringo, the original Gringo. What was uh, all done to it? Who built it? That truck came from down the valley somewhere. It was like sand, racing in the sand or something, because, man, every time I worked on it, sand falling out of it and i was like i told my buddy mark i was like man where is all this freaking sand coming from you know and they i don't know what they was doing but uh he said there were sand racing it somewhere yeah and uh but we got it and it went to uh pasadena speed shop uh i raced with them for a while and it was you know we was back then it was quick you know we'd uh, won a lot of races, a lot of street racing, and uh, about that times when uh, Beto and on the gas, you know, they started building crawfish, and uh, that's when I was like, well, you know, time to step this thing up. You <laughs> yeah, know. Yeah. That, that's crazy. That's, that's honestly that's how I I recognize you is from HPT that raceway when they did the the racing with crawfish. Mm -hmm. I think was where they were working with Pasadena. I think at one point, and then yeah. Pasadena was there. I, I was confused. I think you did beat Pasadena, and then you were between Crawfish and Gringo? Or was it the opposite? Man, I, there's no telling. That's too far for me to remember. <laughs> Back then. Well, we watch the YouTube video. We watched the rewatch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We, uh, I remember when they first brought Crawfish out, and we went over to the street, and it was like, you know, I first met Beto and all them, and uh all cool dudes and uh we was like well let's you know kind of see what, got. what this new build you know crawfish how how it runs and you know i won one and roy was driving and uh roy won one we ran like three times and uh 
and then we quit that night and uh, maybe a cops came or something but uh in mexico of course yes mexico. of course always <laughs> but uh you know that the truck game has has uh blowed up and what was fast you know three years ago oh man is, you cannot compare it to uh, this year you know and the bad thing about it is you know we just keep on you know and it's kind of you know it sucks because you know we keep having to race the same people you know at the end of the day we're all spending all this money to race each other and you know that's why when you know when me and roy kind of got into it with uh gringo mm -hmm. i was like you know what i'm done with this truck i'm gonna sell it you know i'm gonna go play golf or something i don't know <laughs> But uh, that's how Manuel had he had called me, and we had already started talking about the Fords. I had seen all the you know Russells, and yeah. uh, I seen all the Fords at the uh, shout out to Velocity at the uh, I think it's OTM maybe. Yeah, and I was it was like ten or twelve of them, and I was like, man, every one of them suckers, you know, it was like that one. They look like brand new, sharp, clean, and uh, you know I. Caught Manuel, I was like, what's one of them trucks going to cost me to build? And uh, he was like, 100000 <laughs> And I thought, man, this fool. Yeah. <laughs> what is he? You know, I got dumb road on my head or something? Yeah. <laughs> you know? And uh, anyways, uh, it. I started looking at his work and looking at, you know, all, all them trucks, you know, Russell yeah. stuff and uh, – I mean, there was like, there, you know, between Gator, uh, Russell's purple truck, yeah. um, the black truck, Jaime in uh, San Antonio. Uh, there was like, there was, there was like two from Colorado, and they were all just nice work, nice, nice, clean. You could just see it was, it was done right. Yeah. And taking time on. That's when I, uh, after, I decided I was gonna sell my truck and just get out of it uh manuel's like man bring that thing to the street and you know we'll check it out and you know because i you know all, all the turbo stuff i really wasn't good at it you know when i was driving for pasadena uh i was always roy or adrian on the laptop and i drove you yeah. know and i don't know how to fool that stuff that's all beyond my age maybe or or maybe i just never had to. I was always nitrous and carbureted. Carbureted. Yeah. You were just a heavy foot guy, pretty much. Yeah, I was just, you know, I just want to show up with my helmet <laughs> and in my suit. Yeah, and just tell me where to go. Yeah, <laughs> don't tell me to stop. <laughs> but uh, that's on Manuel, and he's like, bring it, bring it out to the street, and uh, we'll kind of go over it and see what's up. My truck, you know, it should be going, it should be going faster, you know, because I started. I started really spending money on that truck, and it's like it, you know everybody thought it was faster than it was, but it was just getting frustrating. Yeah, and uh, that's when I took it out there, and man, like the third pass, the truck went faster. You know, like second pass, it went faster than it ever been on the street. Third pass, it went faster than it ever been on the track, but on, on the, the street. street. Damn. Yeah. And I was like, you know, shout out to Midnight. These dudes, you know, Boyd came out, Russell came out. I mean, it, it, back then, looking back, they were probably like, you know, I don't know what they were thinking. Like, man, this old dude, Randy, old old white dude, needs some help with a with, with his truck or whatever. And, you know, we'll try to, you know. But I, you know, I, I've always felt like I was pretty good uh, racing. You know, which maybe they open arms, you know, helped me a lot. You yeah, know? yeah. But uh, when I seen that and the truck started really flying and then we then went after that and we started really working on it, then it really started flying. And uh, that's when uh, about the time we got, I mean, it was all new, new wire and harness front to back new motor trans converter i mean shocks i mean it was it was a lot of set yeah. a lot of new nice 
good parts, and that's when uh, I got busted at Texas 2K. Damn. Deal. Yeah. Where? Uh, uh, damn. Don't share the location. Or just say the location, but we'll like, uh, what's in there? Uh, what do you mean? Like where? Where yeah. in, in Houston? Yes. Oh, he's on the north side over there, kind of by. Uh, yeah. yeah. And uh, we had, I mean, we won, I think, three rounds and uh, uh, running some really fast guys, you yeah. know, and the truck was flying. You know, it was running, uh, I think it went a 54, a 51, and a 52. Damn, on the on street? On the street, yeah. Damn. And, oh. uh that thing was, was flying for real. Yeah, that that truck worked really well. It was a good no prep no prep truck that, you know, Ooh. that it really shined on the street. On the track, you know, that truck was leaf spring Caltrax and yeah. 10 bolt rear end. Yeah. Don't the last day I drove it, you know, which everybody's like, man, when's that 10 bolt going to let go? <laughs> I was like, I don't know. Yeah. When it does, I'll worry about it, but it ain't done it yet. Yeah. But uh it was it was cooking pretty good, you know. But that that truck it was it was hard to beat on the street. I think I, I think I had it wrote down. It was like thirty seven and three, on the street. And uh, the when we were racing, you know, uh, we had found out later on that uh, with Texas two K, you know, all that, you know, comes into town and you know all the people out of state and everything. Yeah. But uh. There was two undercover cops Damn. that were at like a pre meet. That was, uh, I think it was at like a uh, maybe a uh, Pluckers or something. They yeah. all went to a pre meet, and I was, I think I, I actually think I was going to church, and I was like, well, I can't go to that, but I get home about nine thirty and load up. Yeah, I load up and bring it out there. And uh, we ran some good dudes, fast guys. And uh, the last race, I raced uh, uh, a dude from California and uh, little Z. You know, he was uh, had a uh, uh, kamikaze, I think they called him. But uh, he had that little uh, Nissan with a LS and a whole bunch of nitrous. Yeah. And uh, I outrun him, and we come back. To the trailer and everybody's all pumped up and everything you know because that was supposed to be the guy that's gonna win the whole thing mm. and that came down to me and russell and uh we were gonna be in the finals which you know i want to race russell russell don't want to race me so we was just gonna chop it right there you know and uh we pulled back on to the i pull it up on the trailer you know just because you know you never know what's gonna happen so i pulled it back up on the trailer everybody's all pumped up and uh, I opened the door at the truck and everybody starts yelling, cops, 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 you know. And I look out the back glass of the truck and it was like 15 cop cars. Damn. Yeah. And I was like, golly. And I'll see like three of them like running towards the truck. And I shut the door and I'm like, and I'm watching them. You know, I got dark tent, yeah. you know. So I'm sitting in the truck watching them. <laughs> Manuel's up here. He's letting the trailer down, the airbag trailer. Yeah. And uh, uh, maybe Boyd or Mondo or one was, you know, getting straps out and the cops come out, guns out. Oh, yeah. shit. And uh, I'm sitting here watching all this, sitting in the truck, just like looking, being outside, <laughs> looking in. But they can't see me. And yeah. I'm thinking, I'm going to lay down in the floor right here. They'll yeah. never see me. Yeah. And then I seen him uh, hollering at Manuel. He's like, don't touch the trailer. Don't touch nothing. Uh, and Manuel's like, God, dude, I ain't doing just my trailer, you know. And and uh, anyways, I was like, man, if they don't get me, they're going to get somebody yeah. or my truck. And I opened the door, and the dude was right there. And I didn't think nothing about it. I was scared him. Yep. I mean, he. I mean, they pulled me out of that truck like they found Osama bin Laden. Yeah. In the cave. <laughs> we got him. I mean, yeah. <laughs> oh and my yeah. god! I'm yeah. telling you, it was it was pretty wild. I was like, man, here we are, street racing. You know, it ain't yeah. like we're 
you know, selling crack killers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, they, like, I mean, they, they thought they hit a drug bust. Or something. Yeah, hey, man, they put them handcuffs on me tight, and uh, they were mad at you that day. Yeah, and once everything, I guess they, you know, everybody gets all amped up. Maybe it's a sting deal for them or whatever. But uh, everybody kind of calmed down, which I'm in the back of a cop car, and you know, the only thing I'm worried about is my truck. Yeah. yeah. What are they going to do with my truck? And uh, at first they were saying they were going to take it. They, they, I remember him saying, he goes, state of Texas owns that truck right now. Yeah. And I was like, kind of scary. you know, I was already thinking, man, my wife, she's she'll be able to deal with me going to jail. But if I lose the truck, <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be bad. Yeah. You yeah. know, but uh, anyways, they ended up being pretty cool dudes and, after you know, after the nerves and being all hyped up, and they, everybody calmed down, and they was like, I told them, I said, "Man, what, what's up with my truck?" And they're like, "You have anybody here that can take it home?" I was like, "Yes, sir." And they let Manuel sign uh, some some kind of release or whatever, yeah. <clears throat> and he took it home. And I went to jail. Me and the dude from California. Damn. Shout out to Manuel being being for like a bill, like he being real. Oh yeah! Shout out yeah. to Mano. He's being real. Yeah, that's real. like real. he is. Uh, people either uh, or love him or hate him, but the reason why they love him or hate him is because of that. Yeah. You know, he is. Uh, if he likes you, he likes you. If he don't like you, you're screwed. Yeah. <laughs> you know, but uh, yeah, we went down to. Uh, they put me in jail, and me and this dude from California. I didn't know him from nobody, but we was down there and. I was like, you watch me, I'm going to watch you. you know? <laughs> <laughs> we, we was tight when yeah. we was in there. Yeah. And um, everybody, you know, people would ask, what are y'all in here for? And it was like, straight racing. Yeah. And you know what the next question is, well, who won? <laughs> <laughs> you know. He's right next to you. You're, you're talking, like, talking to him. Yeah. <laughs> but there were some other dudes that were in there for some roll racing, and they and they actually – all of them, there was like six or seven of them, and all of them had their stuff impounded. Really? So we, me and him, he, they let his friends take his stuff, and uh, we both got lucky with that, you know. But uh, we found out, you know, I remember sitting in the back of that cop car, you know, handcuffs tight on me, and, you know, I'm fat and old. And, you I know, still see the marks right now. Yeah, I know. No, I'm late. <laughs> it's, it's pending court case. Yeah, right pending. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, uh, you know, we got out of that and uh it was it was lucky, you yeah. know. But you're like, let's let's uh race on foot now in the in the cell. <laughs> yeah. You wanna race on foot? We ain't done yet. <laughs> we ain't done. Man, well I'll race you on foot. He's quick. Right. Well on last podcast we did talk about Manuel, um, because he says he he does talk a lot of shit, right? Oh yeah. And um one hundred percent. But what we said, I was like, he talks a lot of shit, but he shows yeah. The worth of the trucks that he races, you know what I mean? But yeah. backs it up. Yeah. The backs it up, yeah. Yeah. The uh between uh, O. J. Gator and, you know, even Russell with the uh, King Ranch truck and this truck, you know, our plan is to pretty much dominate, you know, if one of us wins, we're all gonna win. Yeah. You know. Uh but our plan is to, you know, dominate the street. And the track, Ooh. and it's you know, I, it's just with this truck, I seen it the second pass, and, and you know, there's a lot of testing that goes on, and that's one thing about Manuel is you're not gonna outwork him, you know, he is, uh, you know, he is in it to win, to win, yeah. yeah, and me too, you know, if I if I don't mind spending money, uh, if it's done right. If it's done right. Yeah. You know, you just don't want to keep throwing money down the drain and still be running 580s. You know? <laughs> yeah. But, um, yeah, all the between Jesus with the little OJ, Russell, Gator, uh, Gringo, and uh, about two or three others. I mean, on the street, you know, we just had some bad luck. We raced Big Chief in Austin, lost that. Seen that, and yeah. Damn. Then we raced Cali Nate in Dallas uh, 
uh, two weeks ago, 17 degrees, 20 mile an hour winds, and both races, we the, these trucks have been working so good, and both races uh, just lit the tires up, all four of them. I mean, 60 foot 180s, 189 on one of them, 183 on the other one, and you, it's it's over. Yeah, you know, yeah. if you ain't got it in the 60 foot, mm -hmm. you're done. Yeah. It's yeah. honestly like difficult because you're from Houston. So the gas has, it, it already got used to the weather, the tires, the car, the motor, everything that breathes in, it got used to this weather, right? You're coming over here on a colder 17 degrees, yeah, everything's going to yeah. switch back. You know what I mean? Yeah. But you know, that's part of it, you know, but we, we ended up finding, you know, what was, uh, what the issue was the with, uh, with OJ. I mean, and that should have been, both of those should have been uh easy wins which those dudes are fast too but both of those should uh should have been money in our pocket and we lost a lot of money really you know what's a lot of that. money i wanted to talk about that too uh uh dallas uh just on that one race uh to kelly nate that was me and manuel between one guy and, a, and two other guys that was like eight grand Damn. you know but that's that's not some of you know when we all get together we'll get some we'll get a lot you yeah. know together and yeah, you yeah. know the way i look at it is you know i'm a bet on them fords every time yeah i mean and i've been chevrolet my whole life yeah we see we see but you know the the ford platform is just right now is just it's, that 10 speed it works. is giving out i mean that's is giving yeah. Everybody's it's putting money worth. It's putting his yeah. work. Put the work the, in. The ten speed, you know, we're as quick as we were with the ten speeds, uh, but like when it comes down to like, all right, we got to, we're betting forty, fifty thousand dollars on this race, and you turn it up. Sometimes that ten speed will click it on down through there, <laughs> and sometimes it'll say, "Let's bye -bye. skip a shift." Yep. Let's mm -hmm. all that transmission says, "Whoa, what is going on here?" Pull timing. And that's why we all ended up going to the Turbo 400 and Fuel Tech yep. harness and uh, and doing all that, just because it's more consistent. And you know, all these, you know, King Ranch, my truck, OJ, Gator Snacks, Red Bull on, on on the gas guys. You know, we're testing really. Jesus's truck, the OJ truck, is you know, the guinea been, pig. Has that been the guinea pig? That one and mine, yeah. you know, which mine, I think we got it lined out. We're just not right now. We're fine tuning a converter yeah. and stator. But uh, once, once we get them dialed in, I mean, it's, it's game over. It is. It's, yeah. it really is. It's the, the trucks are pretty much gonna, you know, outrun anything on the street. Damn. Can't Order. wait. We wanted to keep a little bit on the on the grudgy side. So, you're a fan of grudging, mm -hmm. of course. Um, I mean, what are the biggest bets that have you won, or the biggest losses? Was it AK the biggest loss, or just? Oh no. And if you uh, talk about the biggest win, and who was the race? We've probably biggest was the forty thousand uh, against uh, Gremlin uh, in Pasadena. Yeah. Um, but it's been, I mean, the way I look at it, I lose some here and there. I'm up. Yeah. I'm up 50, you know, yeah. from where we were, you know, before I started messing with them. You know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm still betting on other guys' money, you know. So, <laughs> but I'm going to tell you, you know, people can, they, they hate four by fours. They hate. You know, hating on these Fords, you know, they hating on Midnight, you know, <laughs> but uh, they love to see us lose, but won't none of them bet against some trucks either. Yeah. You know, they won't put their money up, you know, very rarely you'll, you know, get some dudes that'll actually, you know, stand on, stand on their money. And on know, business, yeah. And stand uh, on business. put some money up, <laughs> but uh, around here. You prefer like the light or flagger? It don't matter to me. Mm -hmm. I'm, I dirt raced so long for so many years. Foot control and, you know, braking and gas and all that is, is it seems easier to me. And uh, that kind of stuff, 
It don't, don't matter. really matter to you. Yeah, it's we've had it all. Yeah. We've had guys running with flashlights. We've had a you know <laughs> a light that's just standing there, and a guy just turns it on. And you had the head, the, the head, yeah, the one yeah, on the, the headlight. headlight. Yeah, <laughs> and, uh, that one's funny to me, honestly. They yeah. ready? They just click a button in it, or what? They no, go over They have like a button in the back, oh. and like yeah. they'll just run in the back, and they boom, yeah, and it just, just shines on their yeah, head. Yeah, just turns like a little mechanic headlight. Or yeah. yeah, but uh, yeah, it doesn't doesn't matter. You know, we're all pretty quick. Boyd, that little sucker, I guess because his age, you know that he's good on the light. Yeah. Uh, uh, which Asus and Russell and they're good too. We're all pretty pretty decent, you know. Uh, as far as racing wise, who will you call out if you want to race? You know, keep racing. Uh, uh, anybody around here? Any Chevy? Any Chevrolet? Hmm. Any Chevrolet on the street? Uh, not a problem. You know, it'd be the race of the year, right? What's that? We'd probably be Gremlin again. You know, with uh, the I don't think they want. They don't want to race on the street. I want to do the yeah the track, track yeah, stuff yeah. and uh, <clears throat> but that truck's quick too you know but at the end of the day uh, uh, it's gonna be I'm gonna say hey, you know everybody you know things happen you know you can always lose you know oh, there's yeah. and there's always gonna be somebody bigger and better than you are yep. you know but right now the Fords are gonna dominate yeah nine times out of ten. I don't think I don't think Chevys are gonna switch with that LT or that transmission anytime soon though, huh? <laughs> I don't think they're gonna switch. It. But they gotta they gotta see the competitor, man. Yeah, you gotta look at that yeah. four ten speed in the motor. You know my my old Gringo truck that was a dark four twenty seven, big precision turbos. You know it had it all turbo turbo four hundred. Uh, was it on the four hundred eight on the four hundred eighty or turbo four hundred? It was four hundred eighty for a while, and then I just you know. Uh, uh, I, I was getting them built. Uh, uh, David Gonzalez and uh, Pearland, and man, them things lived through some power. Right. And uh, built me really good transmissions. But he, one day, he was like, "Man, it, the power you're making, you know, you need to go 400." Damn. You know, and we never broke any 480s. They would just, they would just start showing weakness. Yeah. You know, and. Uh, that's why we switched to the Turbo 400. But, you know, even having all of that, you know, in that truck, at the end of the day, I could, I had, I had fiberglass doors. I had Lexan. I had fiberglass bumpers. Um, I can make that truck as light as I could or, and it was all wrapped. Or I could put on all my stock stuff in two hours. The truck could be full weight, full doors, Damn. bumpers, you know, everything right back on it and, you didn't really know how a truck, you know, people cry about, you know, four by four is enough. You know, we've had to go to street races and double buy in, you know, pay double to just to buy in. And yeah, yeah. Race first round. I had to, re I had to double buy in. I had to race first every round and some other something stupid I had to do one time, but, uh, Still won. Just to but, get it. <laughs> yeah, just to get in. Yeah, you know? yeah. And we just want to race, you know, but everybody's like, well, you got four tires. I'm like, yeah. I also got 4,000 pounds, you know. Also two it's, dry shafts and two digs. Yeah, yeah, all that, <laughs> you know, and it, it's, you know, I get it, you know. Yeah, well, you got two extra 10-inch slicks, you know. Yeah. Okay, well, let's make it fair. You add 1,500 pounds to yours and then we'll be good, right? And then, yeah, yeah. you know, you can argue it, you know, 10 different ways. Yeah. But uh, I got the ballast in the trailer. <laughs> so yeah. Put some ballast on it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're going to uh, say, like, how uh, what happened to, to Midnight and Pasadena. And like, oh, let me go back and get the tires. Yeah. I'll tell you this type of situation. <laughs> yeah. Go back and get the tires, you know what I mean? Yeah. They want to keep racing. That was a wild night there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What was the hiccup on your old, before we get into the new, um, the Grigo 2.0, what was the hiccup that was wrong with, the old gringo with the Silverado. Cause I know we've seen videos on, um, we've seen the videos for midnight ripping the harness out. So I know it must've had an electrical issue. And it was just a lot of, it was just a lot of, just some bad work, you mm. know? And I, you know, I like, uh, 
I like Roy and Adrian. Shout out I to Roy sh- and Adrian. I shake their hand and get along with them, yeah. you know. But uh, let's get into the the, the four, the Gringo one, Gringo Gringo two point correct? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Ty, you know, give us the sauce on it. You know, you said it's on Fuel Tech already. It's on, it, you know, Turbo four hundred. Um, is it on the Stroker motor five two? What? No, this one I have a five two and a five zero. Uh, it's on an RPG uh, five two billet rod motor. Um, they're out of California and um, Turbo four hundred Mark Mickey. Uh, 400 uh, circle D converter um, and pretty much it ready you know it's a uh, race weight is like uh, 3780 or 3870 I forget which one but uh, Damn, that was kind of too much info you gave us you know, it's, I mean, it's everybody, <laughs> everybody thinks the Fords are because they're a Luma duty or whatever yeah, they yeah. think they're super light but you know they're not I thought they were too I was really like man that's the only way to go Aluminum bodies, you know, it's yeah. like I'm gonna shed 500 pounds. No, mm-hmm. and uh, but that one, it's on alcohol, it's on meth. Nice. Um, M1s. Frankenstein uh, heads, um, plasma man intake. Uh, we're gonna eventually spray it uh, too, but uh, I mean, leaf springs, Caltrax. I mean, the rear is pretty much stock. You know, that's the thing was with the Fords, too. You know, to make my old truck work good, you know, I had to set the front end where it was, like, t- towed out two inches and le- the wheels leaned in two inches just so when I take off, all that lines up and goes straight. You yeah. know, these things, stock, you know, stock, suspension, work right out of the box, straight. I mean, they yeah. just they work well. And that's always been something that impressed me about them, to, you know, to see a brand new pickup that works stock. You know, yeah, and everybody's yeah. like, oh, well, what diffs you got in them stock? Well, what drive axles you got in them stock? Oh, uh, rallies, you know. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Precisions. Yeah. Yeah. But there, it's just a good, uh, the good little platform. You know, it's crazy that, you know, I had a Dart 427, you know, with Hooper heads and all the good stuff. Yeah. And now I have this little 302. Yeah, yeah. Little 50, yeah. You know. Technology's and crazy, man. It is, you know. And and, and I had a, a friend, he actually lives in Crosby, too. He's, he's been telling me for years, you know, Fords are so far ahead. They're so far ahead on uh, over the LS stuff. And, Coyote Fords. And he's and he, his name's Pat Foreman. He does racing heads. And I was like, yeah, whatever. Another old ford lover you know (laughs) and uh anyways uh it didn't take me long uh after hanging out with uh manuel and looking at looking you know actually looking at a head you know and the head you know a sucker as big as a hemi head yeah massive yeah and you know the over two overhead cams and you know it's a lot going on in those heads and that's where all the power is from yeah you know they can handle the boost you know because we're going to put it to them. Yeah. But uh, the the truck at the end of the day, I mean, the second pass, the second test pass out with that truck was faster than my old truck ever went at the track. And that was on the street also. So, I mean, it didn't take me two passes to realize I made the right decision. Yeah, yeah. You know? But I could see it. You know, the even like the times when uh, Gator was racing Crawfish, you know, Crawfish, nice truck. I mean, that sucker, they had all the money in it, all the suspension and, you know, all the motor, all the the turbos. Yeah, Yeah. all of it. And uh, Manuel drove Gator from 290 in Cyprus, drove it to Baytown with a 10-speed and go out there and run next to get, uh, run next to crawfish damn, in that truck, damn. and I was like, "How?" Yeah. You know, and this sucker got radio and you know full dash and door panels and you know just like that one, yeah, yeah. power windows, you know full dash. No shit, so it's not even good in the inside. No, it's uh-huh. not. Oh shit! Full interior. Yeah, I didn't have time yeah. to look at it, but damn, yeah, it's got carpet. The only thing is missing is a passenger seat, which I have. You know, I could bolt it in. Yeah. Wow. But, uh, it's uh that's crazy i'm not gonna say no names machine. but some people be gutting it down and they they're right behind you man you know what i mean yeah. it's that, yeah. that's that's why i finally 
you know, said that's the only way to go. Yeah. And after seeing and being in it, you know, these these motors, <laughs> they love RPM. You know, they never quit pulling. You know, it's crazy that that you can turn something that many RPMs and that watching the G meter, it's still climbing. You know, on these, the G meter. Yeah. Damn. Fuel tech is. Fuel tech is wild. It took us, we missed like two races chasing fuel tech problems, but you know, all the best dudes in the business are on fuel tech. Yep. And we was like, well, if, if we're going to yeah. go to our own harness and get away from the, you know, the stock Factory. forge stuff, you know, let's do the best, you know. And, you know, at first I was like, well, how much is that? I was like, woo. You know, how much, for, how much yeah. for engine management? Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, we, we chased some problems with fuel tech and, you know, Manuel, just like Manuel does, uh, he got it. Yeah. <laughs> he got, he Start got, firing off. Oh, yeah. I seen it, man. And, you know, it wasn't long. We had new stuff coming in. Yeah. And, uh, you know, that's one thing about Manuel. He'll call you out on it. You know, yeah. if he, he, he stands behind his work and he expects other businesses to do the same. Oh yeah. And you know, sure. when and that's a, you know, it's a, it's a hard thing about, you know, racing is, you know, and I think a lot, a lot of people would race more and race longer if they didn't have all these issues. Like you just keep on having problem after problem. Yep. You'll be saying, you know what? <laughs> I'm about to lose my house, my wife, my you know, just say heck on it. Two girlfriends. You know, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I, I'm done with this. I'm gonna give me some golf clubs and you know, go, yeah. go do that. Compete but, with Tiger you know, Woods. That's a, <laughs> yeah, Manuel. He'll, 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 you know, he'll make people. You know, he has, he has such a, uh, a following. You know, which a lot of them are haters, but they still watch him. Yeah, you know? but. uh He'll make somebody, you know, stand behind their product, and they got do. To. They do. On business. Yeah, they do know. every time. Honestly. You know, he, 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 you know, it don't take much, you know. Which he's, you know, Manuel, you know, when we went to Street Outlaws, they was like, uh, give, give Gringo the, you know, that we had a few of us that were mic'd up, and I was like, y'all need to give Manuel a mic, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and I tried to get Manuel to take it, and he wouldn't. He wouldn't do it. Yeah. When he's racing, he's all about the business. There, I mean, yeah. it, from the outside looking in, it's a show. Yeah. It's yeah. a good. It's a good show. You know, it's interesting. You know, and that's one thing. You know, when I first heard about, uh, you know, uh, little baby, the white truck, they oh, was yeah. like, because they was wanting to race Gringo, my old truck, and. uh I was like, man, this dude just raced at the pad for like fifty thousand, and I seen the video, and I was like, who in their right mind would race for fifty thousand dollars, you know? <laughs> and uh, he was wanting to race. We were gonna race uh, for like three grand, and I was up for it. I forget what happened where we never did get to race, but you know, I'd have probably got stomped, you know, and. Uh, but yeah, when you're when you're if you're up there and you're on the starting line and you see a Ford and you know who it is, you know you better put your money on it, you know, because yeah. knock on wood, I've been making some. You know. <laughs> What's that term? Put your funny up, now your bunny up. What's it called? What's that metaphor? I have no idea. Whatever, but. How was your experience at Street Outlaws? Oh, it was cool. It was know. a it was pretty neat deal. You know, it was uh everybody asked, is it real racing? And I was like, Yeah, racing's real, you know. Uh, the only is crazy talking thing, real? Do it in yeah, about that. Yeah, it actually was. You know. They told us the discovery when they had all the all of us, you know, were signing all these waivers and everything. Uh they told us, uh, if you're if you're a hothead, be a hothead. If you're quiet guy be a quiet guy and i was i had heard that they weren't going to let me race you know because my truck was wrapped you know all the other trucks were a solid color you know they they looked you Wait. know when you see a i get it when you see a wrap you think race race car race yeah. truck you know so it was like already on their radar and uh 
only thing I didn't have was a dash, and we had just put a roll cage in that thing probably like two or three weeks before that, and I bolted two, two uh, chunks of lead to where the dash bar, you know, where it was, just so if they said anything, I said, well, I got lead that weighs way more than that dash did, you know. Yeah. And then I had the dash in the back of the truck, so technically I had a dash <laughs> yeah. in the truck. Yeah. But uh, the the racing was real. Uh, they were all cool guys. Uh, talked to them, friendly, just regular Joe Blow guys. But when the cameras came out, that's when all the crying, you know, happened. Yeah. They did not want to race any four by four trucks, and uh, they, you know, watching the show. It showed our drivers meeting, and it looked like it was all like two minutes. You know, like, yeah, thank you, sir. You know, when <laughs> they edited out two hours of crying, cussing, really? arguing, yeah, Those it are the was, best parts, man. It was, know, right? It was literally that long. Come on, but, Discovery. You know, they told us. You know, though, if uh, and that's a lot of the stuff they edited out. You know, uh, they told they had told us if if somebody gets you in your face, don't take nothing off these guys. And uh, if if there's a fight, you better make sure a camera's around. Damn. Wait, so what did they even cut that for? I thought they like a little bit of drama into the situation. That's why everybody likes it. They probably cover. have a little bit of control. And, you know, yeah. they're, they're around those probably crew guys enough to where they'd be like, hey, don't let don't don't show that. Well, that guy just called me a bad name. Oh, well, yeah. That's said something yeah. about my yeah. mama. And, sure. <laughs> you know, take can you take that out for me? But, uh, yeah, it was it was a lot of... A lot more than I, because they were all super nice and everything was good and great until the drivers meeting when you had to actually pick yeah. who you were going to race with. And I wanted to race one of the you know big dogs, but uh, you wasn't messing around. Uh, uh-uh. they 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 pretty much they didn't want and, you to? Know, no, they didn't they didn't they didn't want to wait race any four before trucks. And Damn. the bad thing about it, they thought mine was the fastest when actually the Fords were the fastest. Yeah, <laughs> and. Uh, and when we was in the driver's meeting or beforehand, you know, the uh, the farm truck and Asian, both of them had uh, four by fours and they were spraying nitrous and uh, uh, supercharged. And uh, they was like, man, we ain't worried about that. And I was showing them my dash and everything. It's like, we ain't worried about that. You know, maybe thought it was going to be easy money. I don't know. But uh, when I realized, you know, all right, I'm going to get to race. I just got to get one of them to agree to it. You mm-hmm. know? I remembered that, and I was like, you know what, heck with it. I walked over to Farm Truck, and I said, I'll give you the hit, and I put out my hand. And uh, he looked at, like, Ryan Martin, Murder Nova Lutz, and Daddy Dave and all them, and they were all like, yeah, 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 you know, <laughs> do it. Do oh, it. now. Yeah. Well, you know, it's kind of like, you know, you go – when I was younger, you know, <laughs> we'd go somewhere, you know, young guys, and one of your buddies, you know, going to get in a fight with a, with a big one. You'd be like, yeah, yeah, you get <laughs> you get that big one over yeah. there. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take these other two girls over yeah. here. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, it was, a, it was a pretty good race. Uh, he got the hit. I was the only one out of the whole show that had to give up anything. Yeah. Uh, but uh, he got the hit, and as soon as he uh, rolled out, probably ten feet, you could see where he sprayed it. Mm-hmm. And by that time, he never his back tire. Uh, I don't his back bumper uh, never cleared my front bumper. I was pretty quick on that. I was watching his front fender for any movement, and uh, I was on him half track. I was already past him. Yeah. Damn. But it was a good time. You know, we didn't, you know, that was all pretty professional, uh, good guys. We'd like to go back, but I doubt, you know, I doubt we will be. Yeah. Uh, But they all, that's where all them guys, Murder Nova, bought one the day after, bought a four before. Yes. Uh, Now, uh, Boosted GT has one. Yeah, they're all getting into the fours now. Yeah. How, how does that work with street, like, because this TV show, is the street, like, they get permission, obviously? Or? Oh, yeah, it's yeah. all permitted. Yeah. yeah. yeah it's permit, and lights, lock, and cops, light, plants, all the way down. 
ambulance. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. It's it's a it's a legit deal. You know, they probably the little town we actually all had to we had to make like a little uh, thirty minute drive or twenty mile or thirty minute, I forget what it was, but we all unloaded at this old rundown motel and from there we drove through like Oklahoma and drove to the actual spot to race. Yeah. Oh, sure. and pulled in there and raced just to make sure everybody is, you know, streetable. Yeah, you know, yeah. Make your street. Yeah. They changed the tires right away. <laughs> right. Yeah. It went to a big tire. Wait, the farm truck's on the on the big tire, that monster tire, right? No, we were I'm for I I wasn't paying attention. Uh, we all had the same tires on, you know. And when they told me they're like, Hey, you want to race tomorrow? It was like six o'clock in the evening, you know, and they, I wasn't supposed to get to race. And they're leaving at six in the morning. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, what do I need to do? They're like, well, you need these tires. So they opened up Spike, opened up the store at night and let me get four tires. And they were like a, like a street radial, kind of like an aqua tread kind of design. I forget yeah, what they're yeah. called. I may have some in here. Or over there in the corner, but anyways, terrible tires, <laughs> and uh, uh, but they worked. Yeah. But we had to buy them. I had the carpet guy over here laying, putting in carpet in the truck. You had to have carpet. You had to have two seats and glass. Well, I had uh, oh, shit. I had a Lexan back window. Yeah, and the glass guy came at like. When it comes to street racing, right? What are some like advantages that you've learned while street racing maybe it's you know um judging a truck or car or maybe you know some little secrets you keep in your up your sleeve really and it's hard to get uh you know depending on which race you go to you know you go to some you know races it's hard to get people to bet when it's just you know we're gonna go grudge race tonight in the street it's hard to get anybody to get off a dollar yeah you know but um you know we do the cash days you know which everybody puts in you know four or five hundred bucks or whatever and winner gets the pot you know that's that's the the best way to do it i see just because you draw who you draw you you can cry all you want but you still got to get next to me but uh the advantages um is just uh, having having all your stuff together. You know, the main thing is testing, testing, testing. We test. You know, people don't see it. You know, we're over we're over there, uh, four different places. You know, asphalt, concrete, good concrete, very bad asphalt, and trying all this stuff. You know, just to get quicker with the. You know with the street racing part of it. Yeah. Yeah, we noticed the the John 316 on your bunk, on your the tailgate. Yeah, it's uh to me it's a uh, uh you know, I I didn't know what you know, I have I have Jesus on the hood. And uh for for a long time, you know, I I know you'll probably think, "Oh, well, you still race hard now," you know, but for a long time, you know, I I gave everything I had to racing. Really? And uh you know, when I met my wife, you know, she'd always say, you know, God's going to take care of us. God's going to take care of us. God's going to take care of us. And I was like, you know, where is it at? Yeah, you know? yeah. And uh, she got me to going back to church. You know, I grew up in church and got me going back to church. And, uh, you know, when I really started, you know, trying to do better and, you know, she'd always, you know, I'd be cussing or this and that. And she'd be like, like it hurt her ears. And, you know, I thought, come on, man. Oh, all right, I'll cut back a little bit, you know. And, uh, but, you know, she really, uh, really turned me around, you know. And, you know, I just want people to know that, you know, you can, you can still have fun, you know. I was in jail, you know. And, you know, I, that was one of the first things I thought, you know, when I got out of jail. That's when I, you know, it was like uh, one in the morning the next day. So I was there a full 23 hours, I think. And uh, 
I turn on, you know, my phone and it's like, ding, 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 you know, all this. And I look on Facebook and the Houston Police Officers Union had um, uh, put like our videos, Midnight's videos, and they're like, uh, thanks for the, thanks for the, um, the heads up, guys. Uh, appreciate working with you. And I was like, what? And they is like, made it look like we were snitches. What the hell? Yeah. And I was like, what in the world? You know, and at the same time, I was like, golly, they had a picture of me. We had took a picture. I would had my handcuffs behind my back, and I had one. I took a picture by the truck. I told the cops, I said, man, you mind take me taking a picture by my truck? You know, because we won. And they put, oh. they put my picture up on their deal, and it had like, Two million views in that t- short amount of time. Damn, on Facebook. And, yeah, Facebook and yeah, just Facebook. And um, I was like, "Well, there ain't no hiding this. You know, this is all over." Yeah. And uh, they were kind of dogging on us, and that's when we were about to do that Crown Vic race, the dirt race with oh, all okay. the all the shops. And that's when I was like, "Man." I got on there and I said, I got another Crown Vic. I'll build you, you know, for the police. I said, y'all come race with us this weekend. Yeah. And uh, we ended up building them uh, Crown Vic. And I was on three different news stations. You know, they wanted to talk about that. And, you know, but the, the, the bad thing about, you know, what the police see and what, uh, the news see and general public, you know, that don't know what we actually do. They all assume that I was one of these fools out there doing donuts, you know, in the middle of Westheimer intersection. Yeah, yeah. You know, they oh, kept the saying, yeah, they yeah. kept saying that even when I was at court, they kept saying street takeover, street takeover. I was like, no. That's it's not us. Yeah, we're in a the whole uh, different we're, at, we're at a road that's a dead end. There's no public. There's no, you know, no nothing. Yeah. And it was hard to get them. You know, even the judge, she was she was tough. And I was thinking, she's probably up here thinking, what is this old gray haired <laughs> man doing donuts out here in the middle? You know, the intersection with these kids. You know, I'm a I'm a throw the book at him. Yeah. And it was uh, my attorney, uh, Billy Skinner. He Shout was like, Billy. you know, he was. Yeah, Shout out right. to Billy. <laughs> yeah. But uh, he was three trips down there. And uh, I was like, man, she is like, she is on us. And I was <laughs> like, man, I'm this ain't going to end well. Yeah. And uh, finally we, uh, we got it all took care of. And uh, it's all good. So. I'm I'm back good again. I'm in the good graces of our Houston Police Officers Union. <laughs> Shout out to them guys. Uh, but yeah, it was a, it was a good cool experience to you know we went down we went to a, a union meeting, uh, took the car down there to them. You know that thing had uh, uh, I, I had it stickered up and everything a Crown Vic. You know yeah their car you know old yeah, cop yeah. car and. Uh, had it stickered up, sponsored by Shipley's Donuts, uh, and it had racing stripes down the center that were bacon strips, you yeah, know. Yeah. <laughs> so it didn't. What was the issue with Fuel Tech? Uh, there, what we ended up having, like mine ended up having a problem, like in the harness. It was oh. an issue, you know, and they had sent it back. And some guys told us, yep, it's a harness, you know, we'll send you. And these were all like, done harnesses plug and play you know everything and wasn't gonna need much and then we was like well let's just wire our own so we had them send us new harness and uh basically had uh, a guy named trap he's a very very good uh two guys over there eric and trap you know that uh wired our uh trucks mine and jesus's and uh russell's and uh we was just having issues and it was like we couldn't get any real answers we was going to take them to take them to fuel tech and let them you know because they'll take they'll take the truck to fuel tech and they'll put them on 
dyno and they'll diagnose. So I was like, I'm all for it. You know, we spent at OTM, we were literally up. Me, Russell, Jesus, Manuel. I mean, we were up for like three days trying to make that race. You know, everybody, yeah. you know, everybody's up there in Dallas. And oh, you're still, talking about the Dallas yeah. OTM. That's what. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. And they were like, oh, y'all, you know, y'all knew y'all wasn't going to make it. And I was like, no. Uh, I mean, I man, well put one video of me. I was sleeping on an air mattress in a shot. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's that, that's what I wanted yeah. to get into. Actually. Dedication, man. <laughs> yeah, we tried. You know, we they weren't messing around, man. We honestly. paid the we paid the entry money and everything. We wanted to race. We want to race. No prep. You know, that's a cool deal up there because you're racing. You know, on Texas Motor Speedway. Yeah. You know, I did it like the year before, but you racing on like pit lane. Yeah, yeah. And uh, it's a it's a cool experience. You know, not many people get to race there you know yeah. so we tried but it was just we had so much new going on you know between my truck and those uh, three trucks well, they had to yeah build. yeah and it was in like a, a a month period and so new harness turbo 400s uh mine was complete build you know everything bumper to bumper you know brand new build and russell's harness uh turbos and i forget if they put that one that one's uh i don't know if he's putting that one on alcohol or not i forget but it was a lot going on oj whole new back half nine inch four link and it was so much going on and i'm telling you between everybody you know coming over you know there was there was nights over there at manuel's where we had 20 guys in there working on three or four different trucks you know and we just we just <laughs> ran out of time. We yeah. ran out of steam. And at one point, yeah, we're taking breaks. Yeah, we're taking a nap break, and then yeah. somebody's come back. Yeah. Did, what is it like a whole week? It was a whole week of because I remember if it was like the the whole video was a week of building it nonstop. Yeah. We just, I mean, there's one video of me and Russell out there asleep on the concrete. You know, Damn. At, the, at the edge of the shop door. You know, but uh, it was it was rough. But things just didn't. You know. They just didn't line up, yeah. and with That's all the goes. with all mm -hmm. the new stuff and the new things that we were trying, I look back at it now and I was like, "How did we ever think that we was going to do that?" Yeah. You know, because the the fuel tech is it's it's very good uh, power management. It tells you so much stuff that you know that Holly is just not there yet you know mm. it probably will be you know it's probably coming but you know for right now uh the fuel tech is it's working like yeah. we you know we just started fooling with the traction control the last uh week two weeks on oj and man the truck is flying it's on traction control too yeah all that Damn. fuel tech fuel tech has all those sensors i mean there's sensors anything you think could put a sensor on fuel tech has it and, uh, and what is that? What is that um, system run? Uh, the one we have is like with everything, everything, probably close to seventeen. Okay. Okay. But and then, you know, in the end, it's worth it. You know. Yeah. You, you know, and that's why you know there was some dude wanting to race from Missouri or some I forget the name, but he was wanting to race, and you know, Manuel told him, you know, all right, five. Five grand. They're like, oh, you're trying to buy a race. <laughs> and like, no, dude, we got a lot of money in these things. I'm not going to drive to, you know, Oklahoma or really, I'm not going to drive down the street to race you for 500 bucks. Yeah. You know, we're, you're put, we're putting a lot of wear and potential, you know. What did, uh, what did Velocity say? I was like, he had to take all the spark plugs. Like, that's not enough for 500 bucks a race. Yeah. No, oh, yeah. Like, yeah. It's, yeah. it's, 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 you know. Plugs just, and oil. Yeah. It's, it's ridiculous. Yeah. And, you know, when, you know, in the old days when stuff wasn't as expensive and you can just, yeah, go dust it off and go take it down the drag strip, you know, that's fine. But, you know, for the money we spend, we don't want to race for fun. We don't want to race for free. You know, it, it it's, fun is winning. But we want to win some money. Yeah, you know? the trophy, the trophy. Yeah, money trophy. Money is the trophy. We though. spoke about it earlier, and uh, you talked about the back half on the truck. I know uh, Amp or the one that worked at Amp. You said 
did the did yours and little OJ. Yeah. I really I really wanted to know. It's a sickening feeling to pay that much money yeah. and to wait that long, and to have to redo stuff when we're just racers. You're the professional. You're the chassis guy. You know. Yeah. And that's why you know people are like you know Manuel. He'll call him out. You know, he's not he's not one of the ones that'll say, you know, oh, you know, that sucks, you know, but that's how they are. You yeah, know? yeah, it'll, yeah. It'll make you. Make you eat it. Yeah, yeah, it'll make you pay for it, yeah. you know. Can you describe, like, what happened on the Facebook thing? Kirk, uh, I guess he was putting pictures out, you know, trying to get more work, and uh, then some guys on some other forum or, or him, too, were uh, – saying something about Manuel and Manuel let him have it. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. But, you know, you you live and learn and you you know you won't you just know not to go back. Yep. You know. Do his business. Randy, can't wait to see you racing, man, honestly. Can't yeah. wait to see it down go down the line straight as it can. So, you know, it, we can sit here, there might be two bugs walking across the floor here and if you put money on one and I put money on one, <laughs> we're going to be a little bit more interested yeah, in yeah. the outcome. You yeah. Know? Uh, that's what makes, you know, our, our racing fun, you know. But uh, the there ain't nothing better than going home with a lot of somebody's money. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's, the, that's, that's true. the good part. But, you know, yeah. between, the, between these Fords and, you know, all these trucks that are about to come out, you know, I can think of five that are all going to be on the same package, yeah. you know. So when we go somewhere, you know, you will be able to say, hey, dude, don't do that. Or, hey, turn it up. We could have laid down a lot more power, you know. It's going to be such an advantage. And, you know, the trucks are already quick and stupid quick, you know. I, You know, just not even knowing me and Manuel over there uh, by a shop. He was like, we need to log a good hit, and we're going to check the converter, check this, and send it to, you know, the guy that looks at the fuel tech, and he's very, uh, Dylan, shout out to him. He's very knowledgeable. Uh, Canadian, eh? Yeah, that guy. <laughs> but, uh, you know, he's, hey, been, he, he's been up with us, <laughs> you know, at 2, 3 in the morning, you know, looking at logs and, yeah. you know, just helping us get faster. But he also loves it, too. You know, nobody's going to do that. It don't matter how much money you give them. Nobody's going to do that unless they love it. But he's he's helped out a love lot. It but, you know, I told Manuel, I was like, I don't, he's like, just pull out there and, you know, just make a good lick so we can log it, you know. I mm -hmm. was like, well, where's 8th Mile? He goes, oh, it's down there, you know, like that third driveway at that time. And I was like, I don't know. I'm just going to get in high gear and, yeah. you know. Anyways, he comes, you know, we pull back and take it right back to the shop. He was like, you hit 172 on the feeder. And I was like, 172 mile an hour? Damn. And he was like. You did? Yeah, in that one. And uh, I was like, ain't no way. And uh, he pulls it up. I was like. You're flying. Yeah. And. Uh, Do you but, look at it twice? I was like, damn, I don't believe it. Where's the parachute? You don't know parachute yet? I'm going to get one sooner or later. Oh, okay. I was going to say, damn. I'm very no parachute? Been working. <laughs> yeah. Oh, they were. Yeah. I went past where I was supposed to turn. Had to go the long way back to the shop. But, uh, yeah, they're running. The Fords are, people are going to realize, you I got, know, yeah. that it's after we, next, the next cash days we go to. When's that? Uh, not sure yet. Okay. Uh, we have a couple different uh, options, you know, but between all of us getting together and, you know, getting, you know, that Russell, they just got theirs back running. Yeah. Uh, they had a, a time and chain issue or something, and I think they, I think they fixed that, and they're going to be ready to test. So we have, you know, everything we've been working on with Jesus's truck, little OJ, is going to be able to say, set it right there and King Ranch, you know, and yeah. then back into mine, you know, that one's pretty much making licks. It's it's ready. Yeah. We're just dialing in converter. Yeah. You know, we're on like I can't tell you how many converters and staters we've changed, but uh it's getting better and we're learning what 
it likes and what it doesn't you know with the street racing versus the track racing is total different converter you know i could care less about uh track racing myself it's not a it's i'll go yeah i want to win there too but you know no prep stuff you're still at a track you know whether it's no prep or not you know if you want to no prep we can no prep it out here on the road you know yeah. but uh the real deal yeah and you know that's just the way i was i grew up and, you know i grew up around it and you know my dad he was you know when i was little everybody quarter mile street race yeah and my dad's like no you don't quarter mile street race anymore and i was like dad do you realize how fast we would be crossing the finish line? <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Quarter mile street racing, trees, poles, houses, you know, curbs, all that. Yeah. I was like, there is no way. I mean, yeah. I'm I'm pretty wild. I ain't that wild. Yeah. You know. You wild, but Definitely with a limit. Yeah. yeah. He probably need two pairs. Manuel, <laughs> probably, he'll probably try it. Yeah. What was your, I, you don't have to give us an exact number because I know, um, this is kind of secretive in in the racing scene is for street racing what was your like maybe closest 60 to 130 i don't Beep. really i don't really keep up with that i'm my my big deal is uh or 60 <clears throat> foot is 60 foot if you can <laughs> see if you can 60 foot on the street and get out there you're gonna you're gonna have most of those. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you're gonna win most of those races. If you if you can't leave, if you can't get out of the sixty foot, the rest doesn't even matter. Yeah, you yeah. Know? Uh, the sixty foot with ease, you know, we're depending on what prep it is. You know, what if it's a uh, uh, if we're on good concrete or if we're on bare concrete. You know, we're in, we're in the thirties. Damn. Uh, every once in a while, we'll dip into the twenties. If it's a good spot and we've, you know, used it and used it and used it, but then the more you used it, the more it starts turning into a track, you know. So uh, naturally, it's going to pick up your 60 foot. But uh, these things, they just they like RPM. They like they like mile an hour. You know, that was one of the things with mold truck. These mile an hour, seven, eight, nine, ten miles an hour faster than my Chevrolet did. Yeah, and uh, they like it. They like to scream and they like to, they like big in power and they work down low too. Yeah. Before we finish off the podcast, I wanted to ask you, yeah. what what does it take to build a hot rod? Oh, like that? Lord, a lot of money and time. You know, I spent the last what one, I, last one I built was uh, uh, a 72 Nova. And I said, no, I will never build another one from nothing. Uh, you spend three or four years and, uh, waiting on parts, wait on a part for a month, and it's the wrong part, you know. Wait, you mean from nothing as far as like a kit? No, from like nothing starting as like Bare. a three thousand dollar, you know, frame right. and body, okay, okay. you know, yeah. and then you start, you know, paint and body and suspension and you know everything. It just adds up, and these days it's all so expensive. You know, you want to find that. From the guy that built it. Yeah. You don't want to spend your time, you know. Some people do. Some people, like they want everything like they, you know, how they want it and know that it is how they did it and how they want it and just like they had in their mind, you know. But, you know, my job is to find them, get them good, and somebody shows up and they want them, want them more than I do. Yeah. And they, I go through a lot of them. Uh and it's uh, it's fun. It's uh, something that I always never thought I'd be doing, but it just kind of started happening. And you know, it's enough to afford my racing habit anyway. <laughs> for now, anyway. Is there like a misconception, like when building a hot rod, they use a lot of bondo to uh, build a such a, like an old car? Well, it depends. You know, it starts. It depends on what you start with. You know, if you're starting with something that's in bad shape then yeah you're going to use a lot of bondo but it that's also one of the misconceptions like any like nice custom nice nice paint job they're they wipe the whole thing with bondo you know and then cut it you know and uh block it off and there i mean the 
the whole that's how they get them so smooth yeah. and so nice you know you don't get panels that aren't don't have little waves, waves in them yep. that you can see and the nicer paint job you get the more you'll see yeah. so they're all gonna you know they're all gonna have some you know but some people are like oh was it does it have bondo or any <laughs> any rust in it and i'm like well it's 65 years old <laughs> it's gonna have yeah. a little bit of both yeah <laughs> more than more than rust yeah. well, what does it drive like and i said well i always tell them, my wife's suburban it'll probably out drive it out corner it out handle it out break it you know and outrun it most likely you know this thing the you know <laughs> this like this wagon i think it's he's 63 years old you know and it was never meant to go over fifty-five mile an hour. You yeah. know, no, over, it doesn't have it doesn't have overdrive, right? Uh, no, that one doesn't. But it actually runs. It's got a good little motor in it. Yeah. But uh, um, you know, that's all. You know, you think about it. That technology is sixty years old. Yeah. You know, you know what's like, like, like my dad. He's sixty-five years old. He's old, slow. <laughs> you know, yeah. he's 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 ready to uh, he's ready to slow down. You know, shout out to his pops, man. Oh yeah, but uh, yeah, there's the more custom you get, the more suspension, the more modern power you want, more modern, bigger brakes. You know, and when you start doing that with old stuff, price adds up. Yeah. You know, and uh, it's my job to find them. You know, work on them. You know, I, I, you know, it's me and another guy, and uh, you know, it keeps keeps me busy. Yeah. And uh, I, you know, most of them. If you keep up with any of my stuff, you you see they don't last long around here. You yeah. know, these will all be gone this week, next week. Bye. And they'll be. Bye bye. <laughs> they'll be. They'll Damn. be. There'll be three or four <laughs> more. You know. Everything for sale, guys. That's that but, that money raise. Everything's for sale. <laughs> yeah, there's always you know there's always people looking. You know, as long as you can, uh, I tell people, shop around. You know, go check. You yeah. know, and that's you know good thing. Uh, I work hard, and when I'm, I'm I stand on what I what I, you know, the products I have, and you know, knock on wood, I've never had anybody, uh, never had any problems, never nice. had anybody. Say they got something that, you know, I didn't tell them about or, you know, things broke. And, you know, I've, I've, I've ate some stuff, you know, I've, you know, when you go through as many as I do, you're going to eat some stuff. You're going to mm -hmm. lose on some, but, uh, that's part of it. You know, you got to keep a good name and, you know, you don't never want anybody unsatisfied. You know, you want people to be happy. You want people to go say, Hey man, you need to call this guy, you know, and that's why I send out a lot of money in referral fees you know if you you know tell me hey man my neighbor's got this and my aunt's cousin's daughter uh she just uh inherited this you know five, <laughs> i give you 500 if you call me and say hey uh my buddy's looking for a red 67 c10 get that referral fee I, man i, I, I tell them <laughs> i say send him on over here i got one 500 yeah. bucks yeah. so that that's always a you know that that helps people yeah you know look a little harder i got i got some butters are, butters are yeah i got i got some guys and they're like headhunters there's like three of them and they're you know them guys they make sometimes thousand dollars a month you know just just by sending me a you know an ad that you know was listed 10 minutes ago yeah you know and you know, I can't be everywhere at once. You know, the internet is a is a wide, you know, area to to search. But uh, uh, as long as I can get them good, but I heard that also getting good. So supposedly, Facebook took Facebook Market off. So I don't know if you don't use Facebook or not, but they haven't took it off. No, well, some of them they have taken it off. Mm. I'm not sure. No, it's just for now. It is. It's still working, but there'll yeah. always be some mm -hmm. something else. Something there'll new. Always be. Yeah some other way you know but there's a lot of my stuff is referrals you know people call me and just tell me you know hey i got this you yeah. know uh i heard you're the guy i went to a guy's place uh right before y'all got here two neighborhoods over 
And he's like, yeah, I called around. Somebody told me to call you, you know. And uh, did if you make the deal? If it's no, not on that one. He was a uh, he was uh, too firm. A little little too proud of that one. <laughs> <laughs> the real question is, Randy, would you sell the gring- the gringo? This one? Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> Finally. Uh, no. Finally. <laughs> Because no, the yeah. whole time I was like, he's going to sell something. He always, everything's for sale, but not yeah. the gringo. No, why, no. why is that? Why is that? No, I, you know, we're, we're, we are like at the, you know, we are barely scratching the surface of what these trucks are about to do. Yeah. And, uh, you know, we're, we're a little bit behind uh, just on, uh, you know, the, the, just with the fuel tech stuff. We're, we're behind. There's guys that's been running that, you know, for a couple of years. On the Fords? No, on on regular street racing stuff. Oh, okay, you yeah, know, yeah, There's yeah. guys out yeah, there that's, yeah. that they have it dialed in. And, you know, we have we have just started on it, and we are, we are seeing times that we are just as quick. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be, a, it's gonna be a, a while before I'll, I'll let that one go. And, uh, you know, with Manuel and Midnight, you know, if I didn't have, if I didn't have me a truck, I don't know what I'd do. I'd be, I'd be really bored. I'd probably <laughs> save a lot of money. But if you didn't have a Ford, uh, if you didn't have a Ford, yeah, the Fords are, you know, Fords are expensive. But you know, but at the end of the day, the truck, just starting out with a truck that you start out with, you know, yeah. that's what I was like. Where is this dude getting a hundred thousand dollars from? You know, but starting out with a truck, you find you a donor truck. That's thirty, thirty-five, forty. You know, depending then now, on, yeah. you know, now finding it four by four with the coyote. Yeah. Like it, they're getting more rare. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I, it was, you know, I think when people seen like the street outlaw show and those guys buying, you know, Ryan Martin tried to buy one of the, the Chevrolets that night and uh, Tito from on the gas, he is like, ah, I don't want to sell it. And then later on he was like, man, y'all should have sold that thing. And, uh, but, uh, you know they were they were impressed. They didn't realize, you know, how quick those trucks were. You know, yeah. and uh, the no, more yeah. more people more people we race, the more you know people realize the four wheel fours are running. You know, yeah, it is racing a brick down the road. You know, but and, and they are still heavy. You know, you can only take so much out. It's a bad thing about them. There's nowhere to take weight out. You know, there's nothing to really take out of the truck. So yep. you got to race at 37, 3,800 pounds, and you can't take any out of the rear because all the weight is in the front anyway. So you, you take weight out of the rear, you're taking traction out. We got uh, probably 300 pounds of weight on the back of OJ yeah. right now. And uh, Do you have carbon fiber doors as, as velocities or no? It's just- uh, no. No. Uh, I wanted to keep this one as stock as it could be, you know. That way, if we go race or some of they have a stipulation, oh, or no back halves yeah. or stock interior, stock, no fiberglass or carbon fiber, you know. We got one for whichever rules you want to come up with, and uh, we're going to be in front. Ooh. He's ready. We'll, we'll, we'll end it off like that. That was a great ending. Thank you all so much. Thank you for tuning in to Go Hard Podcast. Make sure you follow Randy on Facebook, Instagram. Check out, you know, Gringo, the new races you got coming out, Cash Days. The next Cash Days, we will be out there. I don't know about Ociel, but I will be out there with maybe Johnny. If Johnny's up for it, he's going to be behind the camera shooting, the, you know, shooting well, I the shit. I want to be there. What do you mean? I oh, my bad. Well, he, he'll be there, but. Uh, and we yeah. might put in an extra seat for you. We might put in two seats. Yo, I love, ri- not gonna lie. One of y'all ride in the middle. <laughs> not gonna, not gonna <laughs> lie. Right. I, 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 the middle. Hold on. I'm not, Make sure it's EXO if they have you. Yeah. <laughs> I have never like actually raced or gone fast before. So oh, man. that'll don't, be great content. Don't do it. For, for, <laughs> be great content for first reaction for me going fast. You know, so. when they say, He's you, shit his you, pants. When yeah. they say drugs would have been cheaper, they wasn't lying. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. But there's nothing like it. You know, once, you know, that's the thing is we just keep on, you know, getting quicker and quicker and what we get used to, you know, this thing, 
you know, second pass, it was faster than I'd ever been in anything on the street. And uh, I was like, all right, the first thing I'm thinking is, all right, let's go faster. You know, Dang. <laughs> so uh, it's it's a it's a blast. It's if you if you open that can of worms, you're gonna you'll be thinking about you'll be eating the worms gonna, and the liquid of the yeah. worms. <laughs> Appreciate you, bro, for I'll inviting us in. Yes, thank you. Appreciate thank it for you. inviting Good us time. in, man. Thank you so much. It's actually, the place is very beautiful. Um, yeah, yeah, thank you so much. That is awesome. And yes, awesome. Uh, follow me on OCL underscore Team Billet two, two for right now. Yeah. Um, first one got banned. The first one got banned. Haters, whatever. Yeah. Everybody. But yeah, man. Follow them on TikTok. Don't forget their TikTok. Oh, follow me on TikTok. I mean, that God is good. But yeah. follow me on TikTok. Same name. I'll see you underscore Team Billet. Yeah. Follow Go Hard Podcast, you know, Instagram. You're already watching the YouTube. Follow the Facebook, um, TikTok. You can hear the full audio on Spotify and iTunes, Amazon. Make sure you check us out. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Randy, thank you again. Thank you, man. Thank see you, you soon. Peace. New merch is dropping.